Okay. But today is going to be a video that I haven't really done on my channel. So I my back to school 101 for mostly freshmen, upcoming freshmen in college and, all, and or upcoming freshmen in high school. Uh, this is going to help you guys kind of get the a sense of um, what to bring for your first week or for your whole entire semester. I am a second year in college or uh, on my university. I'm a sophomore. And so I've had my fair share of freshman questions and I had my fair share of finding out what was what worked best for me um, as a freshman and because it's a lot of big transitioning stuff so let's just I'm going to show you guys what I bring to campus on my campus um, in terms of my notes, notebooks, and what's in my backpack and what kind of backpack I use and all that jazz. And my sister is also going to show you guys a little bit of what she brings because she is a elementary school. She's an upcoming fifth grader. I usually bring on in college, you guys will be taking a lot of notes. You will be taking a lot of books and you will be taking a huge, or not huge, but you'll be taking your laptop. So you need to carry as minimal of stuff as you need, meaning you don't want to carry a lot of notebooks or big binders because you want it to be really light because campuses usually are very, very big and you will be walking far, far long distances. So what I suggest you guys bring, um, I suggest this brand of backpack for college um, students and for all you freshmen out there who don't know what to bring. I highly recommend getting the North Face backpacks. Um, these are meant for hiking, but a lot of college students use these because they are very durable. They are kind of expensive. They run from sixty to a hundred dollars. Mine was probably probably around eighty dollars. But I've had mine since freshman year and it has not had any rips on the bottom, any stains. And I like the color because it's maroon, magenta, and black with a little bit of white. It's dark so it's not gonna get dirty. So I suggest getting a color that's gonna be dark. And so yeah, but what I bring, especially for a first day of um, class it's very minimal. You don't need a lot. I just use this the whole entire semester are thin binders like these from Med 5 Star. And these are so like convenient and thin. Because you guys in college, you, all you need is something that's thin. And this is um, all I bring. I have one for, because on my class, on my campus, it's usually different on Mondays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and um. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Monday, Wednesdays are the same. Classes, Tuesday, Thursdays are the same. So I have my um, Tuesday, Thursday class binder right here. That's what it says. And this is my Monday, Wednesday. So they're going to be different. And I just have two little um, dividers inside. So what I have inside are just two little dividers, one for a I think my philosophy class and then the other would be like for another class and I like the ones that has pockets so I can put my notes in there and I don't like taking notes in binders because sometimes in binders I like to take notes in every class in one binder and it confuses me um, where my notes are because I like them in order so I just take notes in individual papers like this and these are college road papers and that's all I bring on campus the whole semester and it's good to have two different ones because you don't want one that's going to pile up and it's going to be really heavy and hard to organize. I also bring um, a pencil pouch and everything in here is all I need for note taking. If I don't want to use my laptop, it's just a lot of pens, pencils, highlighters, scissors and um, you guys need pencils in college, I mean pens in college. It is like essential to you guys have pens, especially uh, different colored pens because these are great for note taking. And also you will be needing, um, where is it? <laughs> you will be needing blues and black pens and also red pens because these are the colors that professors like for you to have for note, for essays and for correcting which is the red one. And that's pretty much all I bring. Just my pencils and highlighters. Highlighters are a must for highlighting and studying. You guys need this in college. It is like so 
like helpful especially to keep track of um, special notes that you need to um, remember for midterms and stuff these are great and I also like um, post-its like these ones the little tiny ones for your notes on your textbooks if you want to keep a, a tab on one of an important article or something information on your textbook and a lunch bag this is all of my sister's old one, but since she gets free lunch on her campus or in her school, she just gave me hers. And it is, I cannot stress how important it is to bring your food on campus. Food in campuses, especially college campuses, are very expensive and sometimes they're not at all that healthy. So bringing your own food will help you stay away from that freshman 15 myth. If you guys don't know what that is, it is a myth that all freshmen in their first year of college, they gain 15 pounds. I didn't do that because I didn't get, I didn't gain 15 pounds because I exercised because we have a gym on our campus and I brought food from home which saved me money and packing on the weight. So. You guys need a lunch bag. It does not matter if it's like a goofy one. No one cares. Campuses, they don't. A lot of people don't judge you. I carry this around proudly, so it doesn't matter. I'm saving money, and I bring better food from my house than it is on campus. I cannot stress how important. Show yours. How important it is to have reusable water bottles. These are from Old Navy. This is mine. This is my little sister's. Um, she started getting into this because she drinks a lot of water. And I also do too, and I don't like buying water on campus because one, I don't like wasting plastic, and two, wasting it money. is, yeah, wasting money and um, pretty much buying something that I can get from home. And it's really expensive for water bottles on, on campus. So this is a must. And uh, on my backpack, I also like to have like a little, this is my Hello Kitty um, pouch thing, which just has a couple of stuff that I need. Um, I need it to get for easy access like um, my credit card, my school pass, um, my ID or stuff like that. So this is a must for me. But this is all I bring, cell phone probably, and then all my textbooks will just go in here and my laptop. That's why I like thin binders because I don't like getting bringing big binders. Freshmen, you guys need to go to every one of your classes. Even though a lot of campuses don't take attendance, it is essential that you go to your classes because when you're paying for your schooling, you it's not going to be public school anymore where you where most of your classes are paid for from the state. Um, where I'm from, I pay thirty four hundred dollars to go to school, and not going to my classes is just basically me giving them free money. So. I cannot stress how important it is to go to your classes and take notes. And if you're sick, get call call your call your professor or email your professor because I'm, most of the time they have emails or go to office hours. That's all like the biggest advice I can give you guys is go to your classes, take notes, as much notes as you can. Do not lug around too many stuff because you will regret it because campuses are huge. Bring your own food. It's so freaking easy to do so and it saves you a lot of money. That's all. My sister's gonna show you guys what she has. She is a fifth elementary. grader yeah. in elementary, so go ahead and show yours. This is my backpack. It's like a bobby jack design. And it's not kiddish. It's kiddish. What's inside? It's... My sister also brings minimal, because I don't like her carrying a lot of stuff. So she has her water bottle my on notebook. the side. And hold this for me, please. And a thin binder. Thin binder. I don't care. <laughs> and some color pencils. And some pencils. For elementary school, it's a lot different. They use a lot of pencils. So, yeah. Hers are cute. Look, they're zebra print. And some post-its for notes. She likes to... Give herself self notes. Communer. <laughs> and inside my in my pencil pouch thing is a lead pencil. Mine's pink. I have one too. We split ours. And also, you guys shouldn't be buying stuff that you can reuse. Um, all my pencils and pens are mostly from like last year. So except for these ones, we split it. She got the blue one. She's I got the pink, pink one. Lover. Yes, I am. I love magenta. So, what else? Some a blue highlighter. Yeah, so she just has... We gotta do this fast, girl. 
and a mini eraser and some. So she just has uh, stuff from her last year. She reused them, and this was this pouch used to be mine, and she took it from me because I like her reusing things. So that's all she brings. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like a mini. Thing. And then there's other pockets as well. Yes. She doesn't bring a lunch box because here. I have a lunch card because if you bring like lunch box when you're having a lunch card, it's against the law. It's not against the law. But yes, it is. But she has a lunch card, so she gets free lunch at school. That's it. it this video is getting too long. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I hope this was helpful for all you freshmen out there, upcoming freshmen, and any college students as well. Um, this is my method and how I go about with college and my notes and binders and stuff. Hopefully this was a little bit helpful and you guys try these methods out. And yeah, go to your classes and hopefully you guys have a very good school year. Get those A's and get some A's and yeah so if you guys have any questions suggestions anything just comment down below sorry for the quality I'm using my laptop again and like I said and hopefully you guys enjoyed having my little sister here so yeah um that's it I'll talk to you guys later comment subscribe. rate and subscribe up there and yeah add me as a friend on Facebook and on YouTube bye yeah. Mwah.